This video will cover the topic, Quotient of Two Functions Advanced. Let's start out by looking at an example problem. We are given f of x equals the quantity x minus 9 divided by the quantity x plus 8, and g of x equals x divided by the quantity x plus 8. And we are asked to find f divided by g in terms of x, or in other words, the quotient f divided by g. What does quotient mean? Great question. Quotient is defined as the result obtained by dividing one quantity by another. When finding the quotient of two functions, we need to take one function divided by the other function. Looking at our problem, we can see that we need to divide f of x by g of x. With this information, we can rewrite our equation as f of x divided by g of x. We already know what f of x and g of x equal, so let's substitute them into our equation. The result is f of x, which equals x minus 9 divided by x plus 8, divided by g of x, which equals x divided by x plus 8. Whenever we divide by a fraction, instead, we multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction. The reciprocal of a fraction can be found by switching the numerator and the denominator of the fraction. So the reciprocal of x divided by x plus 8 would be x plus 8 divided by x. After multiplying by the reciprocal, we have x minus 9 divided by x plus 8 times x plus 8 divided by x. We notice that we have an x plus 8 in the numerator and the denominator, and since we are multiplying, we can cancel. Canceling x plus 8, our final answer is the quotient f divided by g of x equals x minus 9 divided by x. Why can we cancel x plus 8 in the numerator and the denominator? Good question. The reason we can do this is because x plus 8 divided by x plus 8 is equal to 1. Essentially, we would obtain the answer 1 times x minus 9 divided by x, which when simplified equals x minus 9 divided by x. The second half of our problem asks us to find the domain. The domain is all the inputs or x values that when substituted into a function, are defined. So in other words, our domain is all the x values that, when substituted into our function, give us a real output. Recall that f of x equals x minus 9 divided by x plus 8, g of x equals x divided by x plus 8, and f divided by g of x equals x minus 9 divided by x. The domain of f divided by g can contain only values that are in the domains of both f of x and g of x. So in order to find the points that are not in the domain, we need to find all the x values that make the function undefined. When is a function undefined? A function is undefined any time we cannot calculate the output, such as when the denominator is equal to 0. Looking at f of x and g of x, we can see that the denominator for both is x plus 8. We can find the value that makes the denominator 0 by setting it equal to 0. Subtracting 8 from both sides, we have found that x equals negative 8 is not in the domain. So now we have found the values that are not in the domain of f of x and g of x. Our final step now is to find the values that are not in the domain of f divided by g. Again, we set our denominator equal to 0. There is nothing to calculate this time, and we have found that x equals 0 is not in the domain. After setting the denominators of f of x, g of x, and f divided by g equal to 0, we have found that we need to exclude 0 and negative 8 from our domain. Let's write our answer in interval notation. The domain of f divided by g of x includes all values from negative infinity up to but not including negative 8, all values greater than negative 8 and less than 0, and finally all values greater than 0 and less than infinity. So let me see if I have this all straight. First, we start off by writing the equation f of x divided by g of x. Next, we substitute the corresponding functions for f of x and g of x. 
then we simplify by canceling where we can and combining the like terms. Next, to find the domain of our function, we set the denominators of f of x and g of x and f over g equal to zero. Any values that make the denominator equal to zero are excluded from our domain. Then I write the equation in interval notation. That's correct. Great work. 